Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, so Capricorn, um, you may have distanced yourself from this person. Um, there were a lot of issues. I feel like this was a family... Um, uh, he's like a family man and I have a family here where there were a lot of issues um, maybe uh, you this is somebody who would might have secrets so maybe you felt that they were hiding something or you discovered they were hiding something from you and maybe this is not the first time because it feels like uh, there's a pattern of behavior with this person and that it's draining you. W whatever uh, this person is doing, it, it's like has emotionally drained you. There's a lot of fighting and a lot of arguing about that topic, okay, in the home or between you two. Um, and I feel like it's, there, it's been like... Ugh, a lot of disappointments with this person and this last one maybe you had to be carried off the battlefield just like this person uh, here so you may have just thrown in the towel and and uh, and just distanced yourself from this person uh, to try to heal from whatever this was we see the ace of cups is in the reverse so emotionally drained. And so this person, they are preparing to do something. Um, I feel like uh, whatever they bring, whatever this news is that they're bringing, uh, it is, um, it's like you don't exactly trust it or you won't exactly believe it. But uh, in some respect, it, it's like there's, it gives you that glimmer of hope. I think that you want to hope. I think that you love this person. This is... Uh, it's like you hit rock bottom with this person. And um, from here, really, there's no place to go but up. But maybe you don't trust that you can, you know, uh, get this relationship out. Or up, out... <laughs> Up there if you've hit rock bottom so something may feel like it's over or that it's ending but with the tombstone there is a glimmer of hope for a renewal I see a timer here um, perhaps this is something that will take time um, perhaps this message in itself will take time or maybe in like in some way time uh, is important here so maybe uh you feel like oh god you know it's about time <laughs> like it's taken them time um but still it's like you don't quite believe it because you have this eight of swords this is once burned twice shy and you're looking down at that porcupine and you know that if you fall, it's going to hurt, you know. So here's this uh, communication uh, that has come and it, it's, it, this has to do with something slow. So again, something that's taken time. Uh, to happen or to get to you um, the letter uh, 
the letter is it's like a very slow communication uh, this letter is uh, or this communication actually I mean it could begin as a letter but it's some type of communication could be any kind of uh, communication uh, that is slow to get to you or was slow or has taken its time now this is about changing you know this card here is about they talk about uh, it's a card of drunkenness actually and it is about uh, somebody who's it's like a woe is me type of energy and it, it basically says that you don't have to drink to the bottom of the cup if you're unhappy with your situation then uh, you can change it but you have to take that action and uh, I feel like this is this is what this plan what what this this uh, communication is about this is about making adjustments to to a plan or uh, an idea this has to do with uh, being able to work together to overcome these uh, problems excuse me and justice is here you know so um, this is um, this can be about forgiveness this can be this person may come and ask for your forgiveness and uh, speak a truth and, and tell you that they're going to change that they're going to make all the changes necessary so all of these adjustments in order to uh, in order to fix things or to heal things or uh, I feel like they want to make it up to you here you are wounded you see we have a wounded uh, person who feels very unloved um, and then we have this this king so this wounded person feels like that king has treated them badly. Um, and so uh, this king is apologizing for his behavior because most likely he, uh, for his behavior, there was a consequence. The consequence would have been this, uh, this loss. The problem is, you think they're lying. So you are not believing them because, I mean, it's just happened uh, so many times. There's a deception. You feel it's a planned deception on their part. This is what you want to shed light on. You love this person. You want to have that glimmer of hope okay but eight of swords is the next card up here in the overall energies and that is exactly what's here so this is a fear that they're hiding something from you and so with this page sitting next to the um next to the hermit you feel like you can't really rely on on what they're telling you i i feel like they're they're you know really making a big picture uh, of something that you they know that you want so they will tell you what you want to hear and this is uh, where in this in this part is where you feel like you're you're being played but they are actually desperate to save themselves to to save the relationship so the problem here is uh, that that you don't feel you can trust this person or take them at their word, but you do love them. Okay, so we have the ring. I I mean it, it's possible. 
if if you were together as a family but that but that you weren't married there could be a proposal of some kind but i think it's it, I, I mean that could be possible but it could be some other type of proposal uh having to do with them you taking them back and you know give me the time let me prove uh that i can change that type of thing so see, here's the, the man, and uh, he's talking about expansion. This is, this is uh, expansion. He, the, he wears that hat, and that hat is significant of status. And uh, so this has to do with their status or the status of the relationship. Um, You have a lot of questions, <laughs> a lot of questions. Um, so you, you, there's been a, this person has caused you a lot of grief. I mean, they have, but in your heart, it feels like it's incomplete. You're still clinging to hope. Um, you with the five of cups could feel emotionally at a disadvantage because although they're saying all these things you've been hurt and so you don't really know how they feel you know how you feel and how they've made you feel but they've yet to prove really that they you know all these things they're saying Um, I feel like you're feeling very insecure with this seven of wands in reverse, feeling very vulnerable, tired. Um, I feel like, um, I feel like sometimes you just feel like throwing in the towel on this person but you can't your heart is still clinging to this and you're just emotionally drained so this person here they come the rider and he's and the moon <clears throat> the moon's in front of him so let me explain this um The writer, he's um, he's bringing uh, news. Okay, so um, a, a message. <clears throat> he could bring it in person, or he uh, could send off a message um, to kind of test the waters here. The writer uh, indicates that if you've been waiting for a sign or a message. Uh, it delivers it. The problem is the moon's in front of it. So you're not sure you can believe it. It's still a bit of a mystery. Um, this news could come uh, as a surprise. So you, you, you may not be expecting what they're going to say or yeah you're not expecting what what they're going to tell you uh as being uh, it's like you don't expect them to to live up to this you would like that but you 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 may not expect this to them to actually do it it's like with the magician here and the moon You feel there's sleight of hand here. And the story goes uh, that they want to overcome these obstacles. They want to have uh, something to... Uh, there's, there's an event here that is very happy. I feel like you go out 
on a date or you go out for dinner or there's a, a romantic uh, get together here, you and them, uh, where they may per, uh, pursue you uh, by throwing, um, uh, by laying on a lot of charm or being very, very charming. Um, they will <laughs> basically try to seduce you, um, persuade you into taking them back. Okay, so you think that they really, uh, like this is like, okay, too good to be true. That would, that would be the words. It's just too good to be true. I mean, <laughs> look at where, where where I've been, look at what I've been through, uh, how many times have they promised to change this time? Um, I feel will be different. So, this is about forgiveness. Um, it could be a last chance. Because as long as you have that glimmer of hope, and you do, you'll give them another chance. But I think this time it will pay off. So you're, um, all of the questions that you have regarding, um, uh, regarding them and these adjustments and this new promise, these changes they're promising you. All of the questions you have regarding this and whether or not, like you don't, in a way, like you want to have hope, but there's a part of you that says, well, you know, it's not going to happen, but it's like, I'm going to give them this chance because, <laughs> what if right and and um yeah and so those answers are coming any question you have is soon going to be answered and so that is what I have for you. Um, I feel like this is uh, like a, a last chance. I feel like you're really down. You're really tired. Uh, but, but you still love this person. And I feel like it's like a last chance. That's, what, that's what's happening here is a last chance. I'm going to give them the last chance but they're going to have to prove themselves like they're going to have to prove it and so and uh and so this could take some time because time here in some way is important either it has taken them some time to actually realize that they need to change Or um, this is going to take time. Or this is the right time. It's happening now for a reason. There's love here. There's divine guidance. There's love. Um, oh my God. And there's a new beginning. Look at that. Judgment and the world. Somebody's coming clean. Somebody's taken that decision to do something about their situation. Looking to the past, looking to the past will help them do this. It's what they've, it's what they've done. 
so that is what I have for you. Um, this is going to, uh, it's going to work out this time. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.